as you know, I'm Helen. I'm the project manager um, for the Eureka project. So this is basically the, the process, if you like, for the Eureka project. So first of all, um, as you've done, you attend free workshops. And at this point, you know, it may be you think, well, actually, I've got something out of the workshop. I don't think I want any further support. And you can leave the programme. No problems. As Alan said, you can actually undertake a free business review. And uh, in our area, it's uh, generally the uh, University of Wolverhampton that conducts that review for you. Again, at the end of that review, and they will look at all your business processes and help identify um, some areas for improvement. You can exit the programme at that point. It may be that there's some other organisations and other schemes that best suit um, your business requirements and you'll be referred to those. Or it could be that there's actually um, revenue grants of up to £10,000 through the Eureka project, which you could um, apply for. So it's actually the delivery partners, and the delivery partners are Wolverhampton University, uh, Worcester University, Staffordshire University, and an organisation called the Central Technology Belt out at Melbourne. They conduct a free review of your business, and they actually complete all the paperwork. And that is the thing that I hear from businesses all the time. It's all very well having the funds, having all these schemes, but the paperwork is horrendous. So you can get to that point, and all you've had to do is actually sign a declaration and sign the form to say that you've had the support. So uh, that helps. So those are all of our partners. Um, the Central Technology Belt um, look at um, support businesses that are really doing the R&D, the new product development, whereas um, the other three universities have got their specialisms and they're sort of the business schools. So it's an understanding of your current business, identify new business opportunities, how you could do things better. It could be new products and service development. It could be new markets, uh, improvement to processes, opportunities to, opportunities to implement changes. So um, once the, um, the whole scheme has been, your whole business has been looked at and, the, and there's a programme developed, because most businesses have got more than one maybe challenge or one area that they could improve. There'd be a whole sort of list of options that um, are prepared for you. It could be that you mix and match, that there's um, funding available from the universities for um, a graduate through Keene. It could be that there's um, uh, capital grants through the local authorities, or it could be that you need to buy in some consultancy support. So um, one business in um, Shropshire that's recently been supported, um, it was identified that they've developed a new product and um, it had been tested locally in the market. They were doing quite well. It was being very well received. But what they needed to do was actually have some marketing support to actually really then um, get this product moved throughout the UK. And also there was identified opportunities for them to um, export as well. So um, they're now going to buy in some marketing and PR support who will put together some kind of plan, tell them what events they need to go to and start working on a strategy for them that they can then implement moving forward. So because this is funded through the European Union and it's under the ERDS, so the um, U European Regional Development Fund, um, we, do, we are restricted, unfortunately. So it's businesses that uh, employ less than 250 full-time equivalents. Anybody here fall outside of that bracket? Good. Um, have to have a turnover of less than 43 million. It's very embarrassing asking some of Shropshire's small businesses, do you have a turnover of more than 43 million, especially on startups, and say, oh, I wish. Um, or a balance sheet of less than 35 million. And you mustn't be more than 25% owned by another company that falls outside of that criteria. So this project covers Shropshire, Herefordshire, Staffordshire and Worcestershire. So if you're owned by another business that's outside of the area, but what you want to do falls into one of these three areas, four areas, should I say, 
then you um, can still actually apply for that something in that particular area. Unfortunately, it excludes Telford and Rekin, which when you're sort of talking about a Shropshire project always sort of causes a bit of an issue. As I said, because it is European funded, there are several restrictions on the kind of um, industries we can help. So fisheries we can't do, um, land-based businesses and businesses that are bringing um, uh, agricultural projects to market. So that can be things like cheese making and jam making. But if you're making sausage rolls, you're fine. Um, still coal and shipbuilding. I don't think we've got any of those locally. Um, and the big one for us really is the retail that unfortunately um, ERDF doesn't um, support retail. Can I ask a question? Yep. Um, I'm here for my own business, but apart from that, I'm also the director of a company called All Together Eldermere, and we've taken over the market hall from Shropshire Council. I'm just trying to run it and make it productive with the markets and things going on. Would you look at something like that to help out and show us which way we're going? Um, I don't think we would be, because that sort of would fall under the retail, because... Well, it's not really retail, it's a building we're marketing to try and get, get it you know, up and running and a bit more productive. Right. Um, so the market is only a Tuesday morning, apart from that there's other events and other things going on there. And we're a group of people who are doing a voluntary, and you could give us some direction on how to make that more viable. It's certainly something, if we can't help you, then um, there would be potentially other support from within the council, from the business support um, Can you point them in my direction? The gentleman that's right behind you, James, yeah. is a uh, business support officer for this area. Right. And um, James will be able to talk to you and, and, you know, we'll have a think about it offline um, and see whether there is some support we can give you moving forward. It may not be from Eureka, but it may be that there are other options. And, and this is the beauty of the workshops, is that you can pick up bits from the workshops, even if we can't come in and do a diagnostic report for you. So, I said before, we refer you to the most appropriate support once you've had your um, review. So, there's a very big um, project called the Business Innovation Project out of um, that's run by Birmingham City Council, which is for innovation. It covers R and D, um, and they have grants of thirty thousand um, pounds, which have to be match funded by the businesses. So, if you've got a sixty thousand pounds innovation project that would be the, 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 um, the scheme to go to. Um, however, it's got to be almost market ready. So the beauty of the Eureka Moment grants is that if you're not at that stage to apply for the 30,000, you could actually get some consultancy support to help you develop your idea to then access some of the larger funding schemes that are around. The Innovation Network is a similar program that's run out of um, Coventry University. You've got other programs like Growth Accelerator for businesses that have, I have been identified as going to be doubling their, their size. The Manufacturing Advisory Service, UKTI if you're exporting, um, and as I said, the local business support organisations and your local authority. Okay, has anybody got any questions? No? So, um, just to give you some idea, the, the Eureka project started really the beginning of this year. So far, we've already had 40 businesses um, go through the audit process. Um, the Central Technology Belt, because they deal quite a lot with um, businesses that are developing new products, um, they've referred about 90% of the um, businesses they've been working with to Worcester, um, council for uh, proof of concept um, grant. We've had uh, another couple of businesses that have been referred back to local authorities for a capital grant through the Business Enterprise Fund and we've currently got about four businesses progressing to grant stages through the Eureka project. So we've got one that's been agreed and several others that we're waiting for applications to come in. So the grants are between £2,000 and £10,000. Um, and they say they can be for a whole range of options because as Alan quite rightly said, innovation is never straightforward so our offer can't ever be, you know, just to fall into one bracket. On your table there is a leaflet which is um, titled Eureka Moment and on the back of that is a list of 
the possible kinds of support you could have. And then there's a second um, leaflet which is talking about um, grants and support available in Shropshire. And that lists the whole sort of gambit of things that are particular just to Shropshire Council at the moment. Um, and as I said, James is your business support officer, so he would um, help you with any applications or understanding those grant schemes.